everyone, it's raining, so we're gonna be quick, but here we are at Donegal's, Donegal's, Donegal's as I say, but Donegal's, Irish pub house, Irish house here in Surrey, British Columbia, basically Vancouver area, to do the undefeated, yes, right, undefeated eight pound burger challenge, it's called the Blarney Stone. This burger challenge actually went undefeated for so long after countless and numerous attempts, they actually removed it from the menu. That being said, we're here today to try to defeat the challenge. I guess you go to Ireland, you see the Blarney Stone, and so today we're gonna try to beat the Blarney Stone because we're here at an Irish pub. So anyway, 30 minutes, eight pound burger. Um, if, it's, if we fail, it's like 40 bucks, which is very, 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 very reasonable for an eight pound burger. Seriously, that's crazy. Like, come just try it out. And then there's lots of bacon, lots of mushrooms, um, some fries with it. I'll get you all the details there. But yeah, so like, I think it's like over a pound of bacon, 16 strips, pound and a half of mushrooms, two pounds of beef. All kinds of good stuff. So basically, here are my friend Scott. Let's go on in and see what we can do, guys. 30 minutes, big burger. I haven't done a food challenge in like over a month, so I'm gonna be a little rough. But hey, one way to do it is do it. Let's go eat. All right, everyone, so here with the challenge. So definitely a big, big, big burger. Scott, ready to go on? Always starving. Right. Yeah, always starving. So guys, 30 minutes, undefeated challenge. I say we'll get started. I have a timer today. I'll tell you, the world is falling apart when I have a timer. Right. Um, Scott. Want to give us a countdown? I'll let you do the honors. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Let's begin. Let's go. All right, we're officially rocking. Cheers. Wish us luck. I think I forgot how to eat. Mmm. No. Oh. The buns are soft, that's a good shot. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Donegal's, or Donny Gals, I like to say, in Surrey, British Columbia. So basically Vancouver area here taking on the Blarney Stone Burger Challenge. So we had been here before to do what was their new burger challenge or updated burger challenge after this one laid undefeated for so many years. How's the vegetables? <laughs> So while we were here, we got to talk to the owner, we got to meet the owner, and kind of actually hear a little bit about the history and where this challenge came from, and it was pretty cool. So the inspiration for this challenge came straight from the Man vs. Food TV show, and... Bacon's cooked perfectly, nice and crispy, and 16 pieces of bacon. Woo! That kind of gives you a timeline for what kind of years that this burger challenge was started. I think, you know, what would that have been? I don't know, 2000 eight maybe longer ago like with original adam richmond um that's when this burger challenge was birthed I forgot about all those the mm -hmm. and then it was after that this challenge laid undefeated for nine ten eight years whatever it was that they brought in the other challenge the other donegal's challenge um which i'll put a link uh, down below for you to watch that video afterwards um but yeah so here we are again taking on this undefeated blarney stone this one is quite a bit bigger than the other burger challenge um the other burger challenge upon our attempts was defeated before there's been a, a couple of winners um, but this one undefeated and it's a big burger it is like eight pounds overall so the burger is about seven ish pounds and you have about a pound of fries which is pretty reasonable steaming hot <clears throat> I don't know if you guys saw that. The juices just squirted up there. <clears throat> Cooked very nicely, it looks like. Mm. I'm all about them squirting juices. <clears throat> And what I mean by pretty reasonable is it's actually like a pound of fries. Like you go to a lot of, uh, most often, actually honestly more often than not we go to a place and it's like, oh it's about a pound of fries and it's probably more like two. This was legit like a pound. So I really appreciate the honesty, I appreciate the authenticity, and everything was like accurately, you know, weighed, or at least roughly weighed. Um, lots of mushrooms on this burger though. I've definitely never had a burger with so many mushrooms, like cooked weight. You gotta think, mushrooms guys, they lose a lot of weight when they're cooked. cooked weight mushrooms there's like a pound and a half it was insane the amount of mushrooms on this thing so you definitely have to like mushrooms um i am i usually i don't mind them um but definitely i uh, like it was a lot it was a lot a lot a lot of mushrooms and they are cooked in garlic butter so they taste good but it was a lot of mushrooms so we're coming on about three and a half minutes in 
Both doing well. The mushrooms are cooked in like a garlic butter. Patty is nice and seasoned. No complaints, how you doing Scott? Doing good, food's tasting really good. Um, they got their special seasoned blend here in the burger, so it's making it taste very delightful. So it's going down nice and easy. I concur, good sir. Scott, you playing with your food? Mm hmm. A little bit. This was the first challenge of our little trip. Um, so it had been quite a while since either of us had done any eating. Scott had definitely gotten in some all-you-can-eats though, so he was at least in a half reasonable eating shape, where for me it had been over a month since I did anything. About five minutes, 10 seconds in. Scott and I are both doing real well. About the same spot. Mostly finish everything but buns and fat. And although the burger was tasting good, um, it was still a pretty dang big challenge and I was definitely kind of feeling it a little earlier. We were both kind of feeling it and struggling a little bit earlier and a little bit more than we thought we kind of should have. Kind of really again exposing what kind of accurate eating shape we were in. Um, you know, but of course we've been through this before. You know, it's just like, you know, if you stop doing something, like say you stop running and you got to get back into running, it takes a while. You got to work your way into it, ease your way into it, and then you start to get the gist of it. And generally it comes back pretty quickly. So we had confidence that that's what was going to be in this situation. Did you hear the news of somebody got like, had, like a heart attack? They got like spit on something mad about COVID? No. Yeah. Where was it, huh? Yeah, we're doing four. Yeah, four. Yeah, four. Somebody got mad at the uh, Yeah, so the bank worker told him to wear a mask. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, all right, everybody, it's almost seven minutes in. Buns, fries left for me. This guy's about the same spot. It's pretty nice bread. Garlic as well. Fresh baked today. Fresh baked in-house, so. Hmm. Well, they did an excellent job. But of that, everybody, I believe that's all the information I have to really uh, share with you today. So in the quest of the free meal, um, here we are, guys. So let's see if we can ultimately complete this challenge. Um, I also will give a, a, a credit, credit to the bread. The bread was a lot softer than I anticipated. However, that being said, it was very doughy. So it was a soft, doughy, kind of dense bread. So it was nice that it was soft, but definitely doughy and thick. Um, which, I mean, I guess in a way made it easier and a way made it harder. But yeah, besides that, overall, guys, a solid challenge. Only 40 bucks. So, I mean, if you want to try it out, it's very reasonable for obviously what you get. I mean, you're getting an eight pound burger. Um, that being said, I never encourage anybody to actually eat like this. Um, but I do believe in freedom and the choice. Um, so, with that, everybody, that's pretty much it. Let's get to the rest of the video. If you liked it so far, hit that like button, guys. Let me know down below in a comment and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're uh, just over eight minutes in. I finished up the meat. Jules, uh, of course, finished the meat. He's uh, a few bites away, a couple minutes away from uh, defeating this undefeated challenge here in record time, of course. 
So let's see. Uh, let's see if I can be shortly behind him, uh -huh. or in front of him. Eleven and a half minutes. Very wet butt left for me. Got to basically the same spot. Oh man, I am so out of shape. I'm feeling it, brother. I don't know about you, but I'm out of shape. So this is the first step to get back into it.
we're done. About 13 minutes, 38 seconds, something like that. Definitely left no doubt today. Welcome to Leaving No Doubt Enterprises. So Scott's just finishing up, he just got a bun left. Doing really well. So the Blarney Stone is now officially defeated. Guys, there's been countless attempts for this over many, many years. In fact, they actually, I think your camera just shut off. In fact, they actually uh, like got rid of the, the, the challenge off their menu and brought in a new burger challenge because nobody could beat this thing. So glad to finally actually beat it. Scott's doing really well. His camera just shut off, so excuse that little interruption. But uh, we'll tune in as Scott finishes this up. Shout out to the upgrade for watching, and uh, we'll let you uh, enjoy the rest of it. We've been upgrading our equipment. Scott got a really nice tripod. Uh, got a new phone. Times are changing. I, I got a new phone as well. <laughs> They're really good. Good, really good e equipment. Good, really good pieces of quality. You know, things to have in your life. Cheers. That's a dense red, eh? It's like it's dense. How about the weather? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like I gotta learn how to work air in me again. There we go. Ooh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Burps are contagious. Mm. We're about 17 and a half minutes in. Scott's just down his last bite of bread. Crushing it. Scott is also on team No Leave No Doubt today. All about that life. You're good. There is no doubt there. And luckily there are napkins. Awesome, just finished up. So just over 18 minutes for Scott by 18.04, 18.05. Great day to my brother. You too. And that everybody, for having me a free, we officially conquered the Blarney Stone. And uh, that's about it. Any other words, Scott? No, it was a good meal and uh, yeah. look forward to the rest of this tour. Solid meal, I think it was a good like first step back. Definitely a good like, you know, reintroduction to eating after so long. Um, great staff, and uh, with that, have a lovely life, everybody. I appreciate you. You rock. 
know you're special, you're amazing. That's it. Let's go have dessert. Deal. So. <laughs> And here is dessert. It's a cheesecake with a cherry, a cherry sauce stuff. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, eh, Scotty boy? It sure does. Can't wait to eat it. All right, y'all. So we got their uh, house baked New York style cheesecake with looks like cherries, cherry stuff, whipped cream. Looks pretty good. Yeah. It smells good. It smells like cherries. Yeah, it, it does. So let's give her a go. I just inhaled it. <laughs> Eat your food, don't inhale it. <laughs> Especially dessert. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So it's like, I'd say a milder cheesecake. It's not overly um, like bittered or soured. Did you get a pumpkin flavor in there? Yeah. 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 Weird. Almost like a. I know it's from the crust. But yeah, it's like, it's like a, it's not necessarily pumpkin, but it's the pumpkin spices. That's right, yeah. Yeah, it's like cinnamony, nutmeg -y. It's almost like they put like a bit of like a pumpkin spice or something in the crust, which is good. That's, that's not a bad thing, just unique. I was a little worried about the addition of the cherries, but it's really good. Yeah, because the cheesecake isn't overly sweet, so the yeah. cherries are giving a nice sweetness to it. Yeah, and, and <laughs> I've had like some cherries, um, kind of like mixtures or purees or candy, jellies, whatever you want to call them. Sauces that are quite bitter. Wait, I just had a raspberry. Is it even cherry? Maybe it's a like mixed berry. It must be mixed berries. Did I get a raspberry? I see strawberry here. Yeah. Okay. So it's mixed berry, y'all. I was gonna say, don't have like a, a real strong tartness, which I thought was a positive note. Anyway, it's good. That's about it. So, dessert, y'all. Donegal's. Everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right. Click my face, subscribe, guys. It helps me out, it helps you out. Then you don't miss an upload. And hopefully, I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically pick two videos. Yes, that's right. Two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now. Get that going. And it's going to end. So click one quick. Let's go. Let's go. And have a great day.